Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise, and today I want to talk to you about fingerprint security. And is it the way of the future when it comes to actually securing our information and our devices? Now, you saw me actually do a video about my iPhone 5S a while back, and we know that this has got the new Touch ID sensor, so we can unlock it by just touching our fingerprint against that sensor. Now, it's meant to scan the sub-epidermal layers on either a thumb or a finger, and this is alive, you know, it's an actual living object. And I did a video showing you that you could unlock this once you trained it with a sausage or a hot dog or a wiener, whatever you want to call it. And the point I was trying to make with that particular video, yes, I know it was a bit of fun, was should that have happened? That hot dog that I used was dead. It was dead meat, something that I was going to cook and then eat and it still managed to unlock this supposedly very secure way of locking a device. Now, my argument is that this particular technology is not foolproof, not by any means, and really the way forward is possibly the use of your eye or your iris to give you even more security. For a long, long time though, we've managed without these advancements in technology, we've always relied on passwords. And I strongly believe it's only really through the use of strong passwords that we can truly secure our information. And by the way of encrypting the information as well. If you're using very, very highly sensitive information, then you should encrypt it. You shouldn't leave it in its native form. When it comes to passwords, I've talked to you about this in previous videos, you should not be using passwords that are easy to guess. You shouldn't be using a combination of your name and your date of birth. You should maybe use, be using an application that generates random numbers, letters, and symbols to use as a password. Fingerprint technology is still good. I mean, if you've got a device like the iPhone 5S and you try to unlock it with the wrong finger, it won't unlock. And eventually, it will lock you out of the device or if you're restarting the device after uh, installing an update, it will actually ask you for a passcode still, albeit only a four digit passcode. So although this isn't foolproof, it's definitely a welcome addition because a lot of people don't use passcodes at all, so they leave their device completely unlocked. So I suppose Apple have uh, sort of taken things to the next level by introducing this sort of fingerprint sensor. We've already seen though, that this isn't fail safe technology in both directions. First of all, it can be fooled with a hot dog or a sausage. And sometimes with the likes of the HTC One Max, we've seen that the fingerprint technology they've used on the back of their particular smartphone sometimes fails and locks you out of the device. It won't recognize your fingerprint. So it's not the ideal technology. Maybe the eye sensor or the iris is the way to go. Uh, who knows what the future is gonna hold? But it must be said before I end this video that if you have got a smartphone or a tablet device or a laptop or a desktop computer, at least use some sort of password, something that's not easy to guess. At least give yourself a chance of securing your information. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit like and I will see you all in the next one.